subjects to ask you about, so let's just move on to the retained EU law bill, mm -hmm. because sometimes I mention your name to some of the righties, some mm. of the kind of Maastricht lot in your party, and they kind of roll their eyes and say that you haven't done enough to scrap EU laws. How many EU laws have actually been scrapped? Uh, about 2,000 have been revoked or reformed. So Out of how many? Uh, probably out of about four or 5,000. So less, less than half. Yes, but we have to remember, just because something was done while we were in the EU doesn't mean it's bad. Mm. I mean, if there's an EU law, I mean, I'm just, you know, just speaking hypothetically, if there's an EU law that says, you know, we don't want, you, know, you have to create a product this way so that children don't choke, I'm not going to scrap it yeah. just because it came from the EU. So there are many things that were fine. The reason why we left wasn't just to remove everything uh, that was EU. It was about being able to pick and choose what we want to do. And that's what, uh, that's what the over 2,000 that we have done, uh, either revoked or reformed, uh, relate to. And one of the things that I don't think a lot of people understand is that sometimes if you want to change something, you need to keep it first and then edit it mm -hmm. rather than just delete it because then you have to start from scratch. So people who don't understand that process just wanted a big bonfire. The big change I made, uh, which you know, the people you mentioned were upset about, was about uh, removing the bonfire of regulations, making it transparent. They just wanted everything to go, let's not worry about what they were. I think people should know what we're doing. So I made it clear, this is all that's been found so far. It wouldn't have mattered whether I changed that or not. The same number of EU laws would have gone. Uh, we've added a few more since then, and we're doing a really good job. What people need to understand is that there is a plan uh, to take advantage of Brexit. That is what we're doing. I wasn't uh, an MP when we voted to leave uh, the EU. And one of the things I found shocking becoming an MP was all the arguments we were having going round and round because the plan wasn't there. Rishi's got a plan, it's mm. very clear. It's, it's not going to be everything on day one, but every day there will be something new that we find that we can make better, and that's because of the changes we made. Most importantly, ending the uh, oversight of the European Court of Justice, not the other one, the, yes. the Court of Justice, that now has no uh, interpretive oversight of what we do. Uh